obviously it's been a roller coaster of a season, but what does this win feel like for you and everyone else right now in the locker room? Yeah, right now I think we, after the Cincy game, we knew we still had to come here and finish out the the last home game here and finish on a on a high note. And it's it's a great feeling right now. We're gonna enjoy it tonight, but we, we know that the job isn't done yet. We we did what we had to do tonight. We finished the job, but now we have to like take two weeks off and and really focus on Nashville and. We have to go there and get a result. That's that's honestly our focus right now. Like we're not satisfied. We know we know we're not done yet. What was the feeling like coming into the locker room at halftime, being up one nil, and then saying to yourselves, "Can't stop, gotta go forward and keep pushing." Yeah, like it was it was huge to get the second goal in Cincy. Like that was massive for us. And we go in at halftime and we're 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 happy. We're up one zero, but we're like, this is a scary scoreline, and anything can happen and change the game. And we know we we needed to get the second or third, and to get it so early in the second half. I mean, it was it was. Crucial because they were they were they, they still had something to prove. Um, even though they're eliminated, they were still some of those players you know, given new opportunities wanted to show themselves, and, and we needed to eliminate that and just and, and put it on them. Uh, uh, Daniel, yeah. as you said, the Toronto players with the new coach had something to play for, but it's no secret that they have had their issues this year. And I know you guys are concerned with yourself, but just talk about the mentality that Troy instilled in you to sort of look past everything that Toronto's had on and off the field to come out the right way, which eventually led to the first goal, and then come out aggressive in the second half and get that second goal and really discourage them and get on top. Yeah, it was. it's, it's easy to be like, oh, let's, let's be complacent in this game. They're eliminated. They have nothing to play for. Last team in the East. It could, it could be easy for us to, to think that way, but... But that, that's not the, the mentality that, that we had coming into the game. Everyone was so focused and keen on just giving everything, being all in and, and playing with, uh, I, I like Sean using this word anger. And I think that's like stuck with me a little bit that he says that um, before the game. And it's like, let's just play like with this, this curiosity that like we, we, we need to win this game and we're just gonna give everything. And, and honestly, at the end of the game, just look yourself in the mirror and be like, I emptied the tank. I couldn't do anything more. And along with along with working hard, we sprinkled some quality tonight with Lukinas and Elias and, and Barlow. I mean, um, phenomenal goals and assists. Brian, do you have any opinion on how your brother played tonight? It's a little guy, Eric. Oh, Eric. <laughs> Eric, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're good. <laughs> he worked very hard. <laughs> Running a lot. He's getting a little tired out there, I could tell. Yeah, that's why I came off now. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's still working hard, the, though. Thanks, bro. Gotta keep going. Right? Yeah. right? The press? Yeah. <laughs> Just talk about that that tackle on Bernadeschi in the first half. Just talk yeah. about critical to make that tackle and not give up a pen, but just yeah. get the ball. Yeah, no, I, I knew like there were a few moments where we had like they were serious and on transition. Like that was really what they had, um, you know, what they could get us at. So we needed to be locked in on our rest defense. And in that moment, I knew that just put the head down and, and recover. Honestly, like that's the desperation that we need right now. That like no goals, no opportunities can be given to them. And yeah, I was, ha I was happy to, to, to get back and, and cover Kyle. He, he made a good tackle and, and allowed me to then uh, make the side tackle. Last question. What do you need to do to keep this momentum going? Obviously, our national break is coming. You guys are taking the break as well. But, you know, it's going to be t in two weeks before you play your final regular season match to try and keep that focus going. Yeah, we, we have to keep the energy and the focus at, at a high right now. We can't drop off and... And think now nah, it's a two-week break. Let's let's chill out. Let's relax. Like there still needs to be work done, and we still need to be um, focused and driven, and, and work in training again on how we're going to approach this national game and, and things we can still tidy up. We we won three zero tonight, but there's still things that we can improve on, and still things that you know maybe Toronto wasn't the, wasn't um, they they didn't take uh, advantage of, of a moment tonight that that other teams might be able to in other moments. So we're still going to look back at the film and, and and watch it over and really try to just just be better and. and Get ready for Nashville. Daniel, thank you for joining.